invented the wheel. I just brought the wheel from my hometown again, Venezuela. The Hora Loca has been there for it. So when I started my business, I always, you know, when I came to this country 30 years ago, I thought that I, when I, I was going to have the chance, I was going to definitely, you know, make it part of what we were doing. And um, easily enough, uh, once I started, I introduced the Hora Loca in 1999 to the society, to the U.S. The U.S. didn't know anything about this. So with my band and everything, then, you know, I just started bringing people to do some samba, to do some, uh, you know, uh, uh, like Cuban, Havana type of themes, developing all this, explaining to people what the Hora Loca was about. Nobody knew what, what the Hora Loca. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something, Maria Lee. Uh, I want to, to tell you a little bit about it about this, the, the, the industry, the wedding industry specifically. The wedding industry was uh, only the catering manager at the hotel in charge of the event, the banquet manager serving the food. And there were only like, I'm talking in regards to South Florida, only like probably 10 or 12 wedding plans. That was it. But only half of them, or maybe less, were like with high standards. Like say that they were helping the bride and doing everything, coordinating, for them that everything go, you know, goes properly, accordingly, right? But mm, back then the, the brides were not hiding, they were not hiding much of, of many wedding plans. So the caring manager was the one actually in charge of the wedding. So she had to deal with a lot of things. So when I saw all the mess that was going on when I started my business, I started only with my bank. Back then it was Miami's bank. Then it turns into Junior's Bank for all the years. Um, then I saw it was a problem because the musicians for the for the ceremony were like in one area, from like the bride just item by themselves, then the cocktail hour, then the DJ was also there. So I said to myself, I, I, I want to be part of a solution, not part of a problem. That's how I became a, an entertainment producer for, for, for weddings. Because I brought a system that put together the cocktail hour, the ceremony musician, everything together, the DJ, the itinerary, what everything is happening from head to toe. I brought not only a solution to the bride to have to have them be more relaxed to the, at the event, but also to the catering manager to the hotel. They didn't have to go after, oh my god, the string trio had not arrived. Oh, what about the sax player for cocktail? Everybody was driving themselves crazy. Oh, the DJ is kind of drunk, oh my God. So, I brought solutions. You you know, ethical, ethical solutions and organized, so organizational solutions to everybody. So I have an agenda, everything that I'm doing from head to toe, what time is around who, what are they doing, how they're dressing. Everything is about preparation. Everything for me is about preparation. And that's what I would do in Junior Entertainment Group. So that's part of what set us, set, set us apart. But uh, yeah, so coming back to it, uh, yeah, definitely uh, I integrated the Hora Loca, but again, I integrated in an organizational way. Part of everybody knew what to do, even the bride and groom, even the families. So everything is about organization. Yeah, but yes, the Hora Loca, I brought it to the market. 